The Book of Jubilees, sometimes called Lesser Genesis, is an ancient Jewish religious work of 50 chapters, considered canonical by the Ethiopian Orthodox Church as well as Beta Israel, where it is known as the Book of Division. Jubilees is considered one of the pseudepigrapha by Protestant, Roman Catholic, and Eastern Orthodox churches. It was well known to early Christians, as evidenced by the writings of Epiphanius, Justin Martyr, Oregon, Diodorus of Tarsus, Isidore of Alexandria, Isidore of Seville, Eutychius of Alexandria, John Malalas, George Sincellus, and George Kedrenis. The text was also utilized by the Essenis community that originally collected the Dead Sea Scrolls. No complete Hebrew, Greek or Latin version is known to have survived. The Book of Jubilees claims to present the history of the division of the days of the law, of the events of the years, the year weeks, and the Jubilees of the world as revealed to Moses by angels while he was on Mount Sinai for forty days and forty nights. The chronology given in Jubilees is based on multiples of seven, the Jubilees are periods of 49 years, seven, year weeks, into which all of time has been divided, manuscripts, until extensive fragments were discovered among the Dead Sea Scrolls. The only surviving manuscripts of Jubilees were four complete GEZ texts dating to the 15th and 16th centuries and several quotations by the Church Fathers such as Epiphanius, Justin Martyr, Oregon as well as Diodorus of Tarsus, Isidore of Alexandria, Isidore of Seville, Eutychius of Alexandria, John Malalas, George Sincellus, and George Kedrenis. There is also a preserved fragment of a Latin translation of the Greek that contains about a quarter of the whole work. The Ethiopic texts, now numbering 27, are the primary basis for translations into English. Passages in the texts of Jubilees that are directly parallel to verses in Genesis do not directly reproduce either of the two surviving manuscript traditions. Consequently, even before the Qumran discoveries, R.H. Charles had deduced that the Hebrew original had used an otherwise unrecorded text for Genesis and the early chapters of Exodus, one that was independent of either the Masoretic text or the Hebrew text that was the basis for the Septuagint. As the variation among parallel manuscript traditions that are exhibited by the Septuagint compared with the Masoretic text, and which are embodied in the further variants among the Dead Sea Scrolls, demonstrates that even canonical Hebrew texts did not possess any single, authorized, manuscript tradition in the first centuries BC. However, others write about the existence of three main textual manuscript traditions. Although the pre-Masoratic text may have indeed been authoritative back then, arguments can be made for and against this concept. Between 1947 and 1956, approximately 15 Jubilees scrolls were found in five caves at Qumran, all written in Hebrew. The large quantity of manuscripts indicates that Jubilees was widely used at Qumran. A comparison of the Qumran texts with the Ethiopic version, performed by James van der Kam, found that the Ethiopic was in most respects an accurate and literalistic translation. Origins the first biblical scholar to propose an origin for Jubilees was Robert Henry Charles. Charles proposed the author of Jubilees may have been a Pharisee and that Jubilees was the product of the Midrash which had already been at work in the Old Testament Chronicles. However, with the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls at Qumran in 1947, Charles's Pharisaic hypothesis of the origin of Jubilees has been almost completely abandoned. The dating of Jubilees has been somewhat problematic for biblical scholars. While the oldest extant copies of Jubilees can be assigned on the basis of the handwriting to about 100 BC, there is much evidence to suggest Jubilees was written prior to this date. For example, the author of Jubilees seems to be aware of one Enoch's Book of Dreams, of which the oldest extant copy has been carbon dated to California, 200 BC, and yet, many scholars continue to subscribe to Robert Henry Charles's view that Jubilees could not have been written before the events of 1 Maccabees. 
due to perceived cryptic references within the text. Subsequent use Jubilees was immediately adopted by the Hasmonians, and became a source for the Aramaic Levi document. Jubilees remained a point of reference for priestly circles, and the Temple Scroll and Epistle of Enoch are based on Jubilees. It is the source for certain of the testaments of the Twelve Patriarchs, for instance that of Reuben. There is no official record of it in Pharisaic or Rabbinic sources and it was among several books that were left out of the canon established by the Sanhedrin and Rabbi Akiva ben Joseph in the late 1st century. Sub Rosa, many of the traditions which Jubilees includes for the first time are echoed in later Jewish sources, including some 12th century Midrashim which may have had access to a Hebrew copy. The sole exception within Judaism are the Beta Israel Jews formerly of Ethiopia, who regard the GEZ text as canonical. The Book of Jubilees was evidently held in high regard, and sometimes quoted at length by some early church fathers. Content Jubilees covers much of the same ground as Genesis, but often with additional detail, and addressing Moses in the second person as the entire history of creation, and of Israel up to that point, is recounted in divisions of 49 years each, or Jubilees, the elapsed time from the creation, up to Moses receiving the scriptures upon Sinai during the Exodus, is calculated as 50 Jubilees less the forty years still to be spent wandering in the desert before entering Canaan, or 2,410 years. Four classes of angels are mentioned. Angels of the Presence, Angels of Sanctifications, Guardian Angels over Individuals, and Angels Presiding over the Phenomena of Nature. Enoch was the first man initiated by the angels in the art of writing, and wrote down, accordingly, all the secrets of astronomy, of chronology, and of the world's epochs. As regards demonology, the writer's position is largely that of the deuterocanonical writings from both New and Old Testament times. The Book of Jubilees narrates the genesis of angels on the first day of creation and the story of how a group of fallen angels mated with mortal females, giving rise to a race of giants known as the Nephilim, and then to their descendants, the Eliad. The Ethiopian version states that the angels were in fact the disobedient offspring of Seth, while the mortal females were daughters of Cain. This is also the view held by Simeon Bar Yotai, Clementine Literature, Sextus Julius Africanus, Ephraim the Syrian, Augustine of Hippo, and John Chrysostom among many other early authorities. Their hybrid children, the Nephilim in existence during the time of Noah, were wiped out by the Great Flood. However, Jubilees also states that God granted 10% of the disembodied spirits of the Nephilim to try to lead mankind astray after the Flood. Jubilees makes an incestuous reference regarding the son of Adam and Eve, Cain, and his wife. In chapter IV, it mentions that Cain took his sister Awin to be his wife and Enoch was their child. It also mentions that Seth married his sister Azura. According to this book, Hebrew is the language of heaven, and was originally spoken by all creatures in the garden, animals and the man. However, the animals lost their power of speech when Adam and Eve were expelled. Following the deluge, the earth was apportioned into three divisions for the three sons of Noah, and his sixteen grandsons. After the destruction of the Tower of Babel, their families were scattered to their respective allotments, and Hebrew was forgotten, until Abraham was taught it by the angels. Jubilees also contains a few scattered allusions to the Messianic Kingdom. Robert Henry Charles wrote in 1913, this kingdom was to be ruled over by a messiah sprung, not from Levi, that is, from the Maccabean family, as some of his contemporaries expected, but from Judah. This kingdom would be gradually realized on earth, and the transformation of physical nature would go hand in hand with the ethical transformation of man until there was a new heaven and a new earth. Thus, finally, all sin and pain would disappear and men would live to the age of 1,000 years in happiness and peace.
and after death enjoy a blessed immortality in the spirit world. Jubilees insists on a 364-day year made up of four quarters of 13 weeks each, rather than a year of 12 lunar months, which it says is off by 10 days per year. It also insists on the double Sabbath each year being counted as only one day to arrive at this computation. Jubilees 720-29 is possibly an early reference to the Noahide laws.